Welcome, welcome to DS Puzzle Sanctuary, where today I will share with you my current puzzle collection. It's always evolving, I'm always buying and selling puzzles, so what you see today will change and be different a week from now or a month from now. But today is about giving you an insight into what I have in my puzzle collection. You'll get to see the sort of images and the brands that I love. And through puzzle therapy, as I've called it, um, this has been an excellent opportunity to get all my puzzles out into one room, confront them all, see where I'm at. And I can reveal to you today that the current total of puzzles in my puzzle sanctuary is 245. I think that's a very comfortable number. It's a lot, but it's not as much as some other people's. But I definitely want to keep it at this level. I don't want to go above 250 puzzles. So a lot of restraint is required. So let's get to it. Enjoy the puzzles. Enjoy seeing some of the highlighted puzzles that I will show you that are my favourites. My favourite puzzle company, Wentworth, which I'm sure most of you know by now. My favourite size is 1000 piece and this is one from the new spring collection that I will be doing next week. It's called Shipwreck. It's absolutely beautiful and I look forward to doing it. Here I have my Grafica collection, Chris Ortega and Josephine Waller in there. We then have my Ravensburger collection. As you can see there are some big piece counts there. Beautiful images. And how beautiful is this artwork? Josephine Wool, Chris Ortega, Grafica, perfect combination. Just some of the beautiful images on my Ravensburger puzzles. Look at this beautiful puzzle by artist designer Emma Shipley. And another favourite with all the puzzlers, Elena Essex. One to do. And kindly gifted to me from my puzzle friend Mary. One of the three puzzles she gifted. How gorgeous is that? We also have Magnolia, a favourite, and Art and Fable. Velvety smooth touch, baby. I have my Metallica album cover puzzles by Rockshaws. I have my Buffalo puzzles, mostly Josephine Wall. There are some night and day ones in there. Even a 2000 piece. My Dowdle puzzles, they are very good and fun to do. We have Puzzly. Hummingbirds was so beautiful, really beautiful puzzle. Here are my Victory wooden puzzles. Beach Huts was definitely a favourite from the new ones. These are the 5mm plywood, definitely worth checking out. These are the old Victory wooden puzzles in my collection. And as you can see there are some more Ravensburger puzzles. I do have a lot of them. And then down there we have some falcon. Here are my hair collections. As you can see, very cute images. We move up to Schmidt puzzles. I really do love Schmidt puzzles. They're such excellent quality. And then we've got art puzzle. The cat one there, as you see, that was such a brilliant one to do. I managed to find that on eBay. So hard to find. And here we have my Otter House puzzles. 
and then we have a pomegranate with some amazing beautiful images to puzzle and then of course we've got my absolute cartoon favorites was jig you don't know what the final image is going to look like so fun to do i've loved doing them for years definitely recommend them down the bottom there we've got a duka yeah that's why i don't know if you can quite see it let's get down let's get low we've got bluebird um definitely a favorite bluebird very good quality they have so many images to choose from and here we go cobble hill i know my puzzle buddy calvin will like these ones i'm still to try them i haven't done one yet but look at those epic images and there here we go we've got the lawrence king puzzles which some of you will know i'm i love hate these puzzles because the ones that are manufactured in Netherlands are excellent. The ones that are manufactured in China, no good. Loose, thin, fit. Don't like them. We've got Ebo puzzles. Oh, it's a dragon. It's a common theme here. And then we've got Clementoni puzzles. More dragons. These are my corner piece puzzles, a British brand, cheap to buy, lovely images. And then we've got our Gibsons, multi-packs, Christmas puzzles. Do you remember me posting this puzzle in my stories and it had a piece missing? Well, as it turned out, the seller didn't pack away the puzzle properly and they found it. So they sent it to me so it's now complete and when it gets done again I will share and the remaining stack here is just lots of different brands lots of lovely different images Alex Clark British artist does look wonderful that one actually And my final three puzzles to show you today are these from Castleland. Such beautiful images. But one thing I did learn, which is why I bought these, is take the 4000 for example, it comes in three bags. So you have the option to puzzle each bag rather than the whole lot in one go. And the 3000 piece comes in two bags. So I just think it makes it a lot more manageable and achievable for some puzzlers who can find all the puzzle pieces in these large count puzzles quite overwhelming. So that's it. That is my puzzle collection. I absolutely love my puzzles. I love sitting here and just looking at them now. I really do. Some of them will get put away a little bit, but... Most of them are just going to now sit here for me to enjoy puzzling next to them. But yeah, our puzzle collections are precious to each and every one of us. This is mine. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the images, the brands that appeal to me. Maybe I've inspired you by some of the ones you've seen today. If so, brilliant that's what the puzzle community is all about inspiring each other until next time